Hello and welcome back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 following my career as a truck driver. We are ready to roll. That we are, let's get going. Let's find a way out of here. Just make sure all my lights are on. We want to get told off. Now I've uh, I've still got the music. We're gonna go with that. I haven't uploaded the last episode yet. Uh, it certainly hasn't gone live yet either, so uh, I don't know whether we're getting any strikes or anything on that. So again, uh, if I talk about music in this episode and there's no music, that's because it got flagged as copyright. I did find some copyright free music that I could play during streams and recordings, so hopefully, hopefully it sticks. Um, I have had a quick listen back though, and it's slightly audible. I think with the way that my OBS is set up, when I'm talking it cuts it out a little bit, which is fine by me because I make sure I make sure you can hear me anyway. Uh, certain sounds obviously come through still. Uh, but yeah, it's just a, just a little bit of background music like you would have if you were doing long haulage, definitely. Now what, I, what I'd love to be able to do is uh, put a podcast, a podcast on in the background because uh, I listen to quite a few podcasts. I'm not, again, I'm not sure where that would stand for copyright. Because it's not music. Do, do they own the right? I'm sure, they own the right to the podcast, but I don't know. Like, if you were to put a radio on, it's only the music that you have to, you would have to cut out. You'd be able to listen to the talking. So if we could listen to one of my preferred podcasts. Okay, what's going on here? then uh, that would be pretty cool. I might look into that. I'm going to find out some information about podcasts in <laughs> videos just for the trucking. That would be cool. Give us uh, more more chat and focal points in. Uh, we could listen in on them. Even if they're old podcasts, they don't have to be brand new, do they? Just something, something to chat about. Right. I don't think we've got anyone. Oh. I got someone there? I have. Wait, oh. oh, I can't see very well in this light. Oh, we're coming off anyway. That's good. I couldn't see him. Could not see him. Oh, yeah, the black tanker on the back. I just thought that was the skyline. Ooh, that would have been a that would have been a start, wouldn't it? That's why we drive during the daylight. I think we're going to have this delivered early. I think we're making good time. Uh, our destination is 16 hours away. Um, no, th we, we've got 35 hours to do it, and it is 16 hours away. So uh, yeah, we should we should uh, get there super early. We have got another rest period to do, but that won't take up that much time. Uh, we shouldn't need to stop for fuel, I don't think. We we gassed up, gassed up, son, gassed up just before we went out. Oh, just before we went and uh, got some rest, we uh, we fueled up there. This is good. This is the the, f the longest journey that we've done. This is probably the longest journey I've done. Um, on my other profile, I have gone from um, Northern Ireland into Denmark, but like large chunks of that is uh, on ferries. This is all on land. We're not doing no ferries. We are driving the whole way. And I think when you go on the ferries, you get a little rest because uh, I didn't fatigue as quick. I didn't have to take a rest at all whilst doing a, a long journey from Northern Ireland to Denmark. So, uh, yeah, the advantages of doing ferry trips is you have a nap, I guess. Yeah, a bit of night driving again. We managed to do the whole the whole of the last episode was during the day, so I should imagine much of this is going to be at night. It's nearly three o'clock. Uh, I think we drive, we're going to be driving for eight hours easily. Um, so yeah, it should be about ten eleven o'clock. I think by the time we uh, by the time we arrive at our next rest point in Villa Delido, <laughs> not what I called it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounded like some sort of ladies' love palace, didn't it? <laughs> the Villa of Dildo. Villa Dolido. <laughs> Dare. Oh, I need to go over. Sorry, mate, I'm coming in. 
he's giving me space, good man. I didn't realise there was going to be a double lane going off. Now, when I set up to do these recordings, I need to remember to put my cup of coffee on my right hand side. When I do other recordings and when I play other games, I always put my drinks, I always have, always put my drinks on my left hand side. Because I'm doing stuff and it's just, you know, my non dominant hand. But because I always need to be steering, because I'm still on a, a gamepad at the minute, I've got the space for a wheel. I'd love to, I just haven't got the space. It's not that I can't afford it, I can buy one, but if I brought one I'd want to set it up and it wouldn't be fair, it'd take up too much space in our lounge. So uh, I'm waiting until I've got the room, got it set up. But anyway, yeah, because I'm on the controller, I can uh, cruise control and that frees up obviously my right hand because that's, that's the, the accelerator's on the right trigger. But my, my drink is always over on the left hand side. So once uh, once I think we've got a bit of straight straight road, I'm going to try and switch that over. So if we have an accident in a minute, that's because that's because I've not got a hand on the steering wheel, as it were. Oh dear, whatever next. Right, I'm going to move over. As I should imagine we're going to get some faster traffic down on our left. Right, we're at top speed. There we go. Eyes are away from the screen, looking for a coffee. Super successful manoeuvre that. You made it. I tell you what, I think I think we're going to be uh, absolutely fine with the uh, the music thing, even if it's uh, not <laughs> even if it's not non copyright because uh, it fades out. It plays ever so quiet sometimes. In a minute, they'll really come in with a a dance tune and then uh, it'll fade out again. Because if I turn it up I know that the next track will probably be blaring out. Anyway let's focus on the driving. All my disasters, well not all of them, oh, my worst one happened during the day didn't it, but I do tend to have more accidents at night. Should we slow down here? Not used to the uh, Tolls, so uh, my stopping distance is obviously uh, a little bit off, as you've noticed, I'm sure. Now, with this being, you know, taken up three episodes, this is if, in, in fairness, we could have done all three of them trips to uh, to the UK over the three trips over the f the one delivery we're doing now. We could have done three deliveries, and I think probably would have earned more money. I think we would have earned more money doing the three smaller ones, but it's just trying to mix it up uh, so we've got a little bit, uh, a little bit of something else with the videos. A reason to keep coming back, I guess, is uh, what I'm trying to say there. If we're just doing one-shot trips, it doesn't matter if you miss one, does it? But we're doing uh, long journeys over multiple episodes. It, uh, it gives you a reason to come back if you're interested in it. You know, they, I, I could, I could record uh, and do the whole thing in one hit, but I, I, I'm not going to get any. <laughs> no one's going to sit there and watch an hour and a half, two hours. I don't think straight of uh, me doing it. So I don't think that would necessarily uh, help me out in what I want to achieve as well with this. It's entertainment, but I've got a goal. So uh, I think trying to get it down to. Uh, Free sort of 30 40 minute videos is uh, a much better option. Get it, get it done, son. I don't know what we'll do about um, a thumbnail for this one if it's all at night. Perhaps we'll have a little stop at our, our toll. We'll see if we can snap something here. See what the camera does for us. Oh, I got that horrible there. Uh, absolutely hate that box. Wouldn't go away. Well, it's gone away anyway. Right, yo. Stay open. Right, that's one. We'll see what else we can get throughout the journey. 
might come across something nice. We're going to get a bit of daylight, obviously. The sun will be coming up soon. What is it now? Nearly five o'clock. Nearly five. I think we're making good. We're making good. Good headway. I do believe that. I should have had a little look when the panel came up to see uh, journey time. Like I say, I don't like it. I don't like having it up. I know the outer cab takes away from the immersion, but I do. I do like to try and be somewhat immersive. I don't know why everyone's going so slow. Oh, they're behind a slow vehicle. So, what's going on here, lads? What you got, mate? What you got? got myself a digger. Nice. Nice big flatbed as well. Nice one, son. Smooth. Look at that. Didn't even hit the barrier either. All right, I want to move over because they're probably all going to want to start coming past. I don't want to be in their way. We are courteous. I got confused and I wondered what that talking was. This uh, is our new track. Oh, look at that mirror image. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that. That's a nice, uh, nice mirror image, that. Perhaps we can have a, an alternative type of uh, thumbnail one from In Cab. Uh, for anyone that didn't do the um, th or take part in the Thrustmaster uh, sort of competition with the release of Thrustmaster's new wheel, I believe, and uh, joining up with ETS and SCS um, because it was with uh, Main Truck Simulator and Euro Truck Simulator 2, SCS and Thrustmaster doing a little competition. You had to do um, an in cab uh, capture with the the new Thrustmaster um, mirror um, ornament. I haven't got it on this truck, but I have. I, I did enter a few shots. I'm not sure if you were supposed to enter a few, but I entered a few shots um, on my other profile. I haven't got a nice nice man, nice tidy man truck like this. I've got the, the cheap little Iveco truck on that profile. It struggles pulling weight even more than this one did. Even with its bigger engine, it's still not very good. But I have fun on that in between doing stuff on this one because I don't want to progress this one too much off screen. Admittedly, at this rate, we're not going to make a lot of money. Um, I think once I've opened up a little bit more of Europe and it'll be easier for me to jump about so I can do jobs do things but I'd, I'd like it to be so when we hit a new city uh, on in the videos that it is a new city we hit I don't want to have hit everywhere off screen I like I like that little oh you've discovered whatnot that's another feeling of progression so I guess I uh, you know I could just do quick jobs in uh, in the UK and uh, earn money that way always an option Again, if uh, if you think that's a good idea, let me know down in the comments, guys. Uh, would you like to see me progress off screen to make a bit of money so we can look to do more things with more trucks? Uh, you know, obviously the goal is to have a fleet. So uh, hopefully we'll get there someday. Oh, looks gorgeous, doesn't it? Now, now the sun's coming up again. Is that? It's that thing you get in a lot of simulation games. Like when the light is, isn't at its best, the game looks at its best. There's generally a lot of simulation games, especially large ones like this. Gameplay is the focus and not necessarily graphics. So when you have that tinted light and it's a little bit, a little bit off, that's when it looks its best. Sorry, just gonna snap that. I want to get there. Let's get the sign in, but I missed it. Do, 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 do. I think by the... If I, if I keep putting this music in, I think by the end, or, you know, after a good few episodes, by the end of the series, the series is never going to end. It's a never-ending game. Um, 
yeah, I'm gonna, probably going to be a bit of a Eurotechnic fan, I reckon. Do do everything that just goes do 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 reminds me of uh, my early twenties, I guess, late teens, early twenties. Bit derude, sandstorm, and all that sort of stuff. Back in my younger days. I think, uh, I don't know, perhaps it would be a good thing, perhaps I should listen to that more at home. It would make me get up and move about a lot more, I think, <laughs> rather than just chilling out with some, uh, with some hip hop and some rap or some R&B. Just chilling, man. Get some, get some old school hard house. And cause that's what, back when I was younger, I did like a little bit of old hard house, proper hard house. I like that. Um, yeah, you don't, you don't get so much of that anymore. Do, 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 do. It's in my head now. Right. Got a little bit of a tunnel coming up. Again, look at that. Beautiful views. Beautiful. That's where I should have got my screenshot, isn't it? I was in the little tunnel. That's fine. So, whereabouts are we? Don't know any of them places. Do, 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 do. Are we coming off here? Bilbao and Santander, I do know those places. That must mean we're getting close to the uh, France Spain border, unless we crossed it and I didn't know it's the uh, Welcome to Spain. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Now, I, I know that it would make better pictures if I used the uh, photo mode. But then that is a big edit out. We don't want to be doing that. I want to get that hill back in, though. Oh, got it in my head. The music might have to go, because if not, I'm just going to keep humming it. I'm on the wrong side, really, for the uh, thumbnails I do. We won't have one there. I like my truck to be on the left-hand side, preferably. Next time. Oh, we've got a nice little stretch here. Here we go. That is gorgeous. We might have found it. We might have found our thumbnail, people. You'll know. I don't yet, but you'll know. I'm hoping I'm going to be able to get the last leg of this recorded today as well. Um, it sounds mean, but I always manage to get a lot more recording done when my uh, when my partner does a night shift. It, uh, to be fair, <laughs> she doesn't affect or interfere with anything I do. Um, I, I'm just able to settle our sun down a bit quicker than she does, um, so he goes to sleep early for me. Whereas if if Mum's home, it sort of plays up a little bit. Ooh, what have we got going on here? We got a He's broken down. Has he broke down? Have we got a recovery on the go? Don't know. Don't know what happened there, but that was uh, that's pretty cool. Tell you what, that's not a, not a bad one either, is it? Another toll paid. Oh. Don't know how many euros we've pumped into toll booths uh, the last two episodes. Like I say, the, the job isn't the highest paid job there was when we took it on. It was just the the better one without having to uh, to head back into the UK 
obviously it's nothing wrong we're heading back into the UK but we, we've done so much in there well I say so much we would spent the last nine uh, the previous nine uh, episodes in the UK Ireland so uh, it was time to hit France I was hoping we'd do maybe a few jobs in France but there was just nothing internally uh, from where we were in Roscoff there wasn't another delivery in France uh, we had one that was going all the way up I think to like Sweden, Norway, Denmark um, which probably wouldn't have taken much longer than this one uh, but this one was a job going down in uh, to Portugal I want to say Eversa, Eversa I am a typical Englishman, I butcher anything that's foreign I butcher it, I'm terrible with uh, foreign names we're going into Bilbao, Zagrosa. I think I got them ones right. I know the ones that have got football teams I've heard of. I do that. <laughs> oh, dear. That's, that makes my uh, geographical knowledge sound terrible, but I'm pretty, <laughs> pretty good <laughs> with geography. Um, yeah. I don't know. Perhaps I'm not. Oh, what, what is that? Is that like the little superstore? Is that where the head office is? The little? Uh, whoa, swerved over. Right, can we get past him? I feel like he's trying to slow me down on purpose. Dude, dude. So I need to see that music. It's probably in my head now. 8 bit, I understand why you put your music on afterwards and not during. Well, you might do. Perhaps you do have it playing during. But it doesn't look like you do. Uh, all on in editing. Hey, trying to be me. I don't want to be other people. Oh, I love his content though. Yeah, guys, if you don't already follow him and you like your Euro Truck Simulator, if you like American Truck Simulator, if you like driving simulation, racing simulation, check out 8 Bit Driver Guy. There'll be a link to his channel in my description. I think his content is awesome. Not enough people see it. Go check him out, 8 bit driver guy. Please, give him a sub. That man deserves so much more credit than what he's getting right now. Awesome channel. In my eyes, one of the best at putting out content for Euro Truck and American Truck and his racing games. He has uh, an awesome setup. He's got the steering wheel cam, everything going on. He does VR with it as well. It's it's great. I love watching it. Go check him out. 8-bit driver guy. That's a nice building as well. Look at that. That's cool. I, I'm guessing these are all. this is all real architecture. When I see these buildings, I'm like, ooh, that's nice. They're really there. Like in, like on the British ones, when you drive around and you can pass the cities, and like we did the tour of Norwich, all the major buildings that you saw were were major buildings in Norwich. Oh, got a little start there. It's the first time we've ever had that. Don't usually get any lag on anything. Uh, PC specs are down in the description if you want to know what I'm running. PC specs are down there. John Deere up there, look. Way. Got distracted by a combine harvester. Sorry about that, guys. I get excited at our <laughs> agricultural machinery. Uh, I'm like that when we're in the car. Luckily, my partner drives, I don't. But. <laughs> Yeah, if we, if we pass a tractor or a combine harvester, my head's hanging out the window like a dog. <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. Oh dear. I don't think we took any major damage. Our load is fine. So we just rubbed it. Uh, I'm sure the, uh, the people in the coach behind, the oldies on their coach tour of Europe, shat their pants just now. <laughs> uh, funny as. Love it. Just in my head as well, I was thinking, cool, we're going to do two trips without a single accident. <laughs> 
then they went, oh look, it's a cobweb harvester. <laughs> Popo, they heard about it. Alright, what's our time? Uh, ten past nine. So we've probably got about another two hours of in-game driving. Maybe an hour. Really not sure. I think we're making better headway than I anticipated. Without looking at the map, I don't really know, but I'll try not to do any of that. I'm trusting gut and uh, just go with the sat-nav. This is how we do it around here. This is how we do it. We go on the fly, we pick a route, and uh, we, we, we stand by it. We stand by our convictions. It's a nice gas station. Weird thing to say about that. That's just nice there, isn't it? With the fields and all the st with the fields and all the corn and the crops. Yeah, it's nice. All right, now grab some soybeans over there. Seems like soybean type type climate, dry and arid. Soybeans like it a little bit warmer, a little bit drier. This looks nice as well. Now coming up on our right, we might have to get a little. Uh, Little out of cab action on that. Being built. A little bit of machinery there. That is cool, isn't it? Oh. Valladolido. That's where we're going. We aren't far out, people. I don't know when we crossed into Spain then. I did not see the flag come up. Going right. Better get back in. Do, 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 do. Perhaps we're not in Spain yet. I don't know. It looks a bit Spanish. South of France, though, and it's quite dry as well. I was expecting to maybe hit a mountain range or something, unless we went for. Ah, oh, that's probably what the tunnels were. And we went through the tunnels and the hills, and I got excited. That was probably. Uh, Pyrenees, or whatever that is they're called. Captain Geography again. <laughs> I don't know if people spend much time in Spain. I haven't been for a while. But large parts of Spain are like that. No, we are where we wanted to be. Look at that. We're... We are here. Just got an achievement as well. Yeah, anyway. Yeah, large large parts of Spain are like still being developed. Just go around you do see a lot of the... Uh, the, the concrete buildings going up and the girders sticking out. Uh, it's, it's, a lot of it isn't necessarily as wealthy as you might think. Uh, a lot of these structural uh, plans get abandoned part way through. I think I was supposed to go straight over, weren't I? Never mind. We can turn right with these lot. No great loss. Now again, we're going to turn in, uh, that's why we've come off the uh, the main road, the motorway, the main road, that's why we've turned off the motorway already, because we're coming into uh, Valladolido and uh, we're going to find our rest area. Now I'm just going to bring up my little bar just to see how close, we oh we are, look at that, we've timed that pretty good again, we, I. Tell you what, I'm starting to get... I'm starting to get a little bit better at this, aren't I? Getting there slowly but surely. Oh, look at that as well. That is... Nice. Nice. This is Spain, isn't it? That is... That is typical Spain. I love it. I love... This is so good. I don't know what what of this is Pro Mods and what of this is base game. I'm sure Pro Mods is a big part of it. So we're going round this time. We go round because, well, because Satnev tells us to, mainly. Um, yeah. Hopefully they, the traffic knows to stop and not plow into us. At the roundabout, take the first exit. All right, so round we go. Ho ho ho! He 
snuck through, didn't he? And we should be stopping at a hotel somewhere on my right. I think it's a hotel anyway. Or it might be a garage. It's probably a garage that I can buy. Tell you what, I think that's a garage. Can't buy the garage. But there is uh, at the roundabout. Take the first right. There seems to be like a lay by there. Right. And then exit right. Again, we're doing it on the fly. I think he rolled some lights there. I'm sure he wasn't supposed to be coming. Not if we were pulling out. Right. Not there. Can we go in here? We can. And I think I want to park over here. Let's find a new. I can sleep here though. Oh, the rumble, the feedback of this dirt. It's the first time I've ever had that. That's good. That's really good. So, it's time for me to rest up, guys. That's the end of today's video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. Hopefully you've enjoyed the journey. <laughs> A little knock along the way. Some random ramblings. Background tunes doing their thing. Yeah, I've enjoyed it. I am thoroughly enjoying this journey. I am loving this game at the minute. Um, show us some love. Show us some support. Big fat thumbs up down below. If you're new to the channel, hit subscribe. Turn your bell notification on. Find out when new videos are going live. Leave your comments, your feedbacks, anything you like down there. Let's have a little chat. Let's have a conversation. Uh, your experiences with this game. Anything that I've asked about during the video that I've forgotten about to bring up now. Pop it down there. Uh, you guys have a great day. I shall see you for part three very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.